Hey everyone, I am back today with kind of what I would call a surprise review. So I know some people have said they think I talk too much in some of my reviews and I go on for too long. So I'm going to start off with a two minute, very condensed review of the Lot Max SC10. And then uh, for the people who are in a rush, listen to those two minutes and then go to like the last two minutes and look at all the pictures. For everyone else, I'm actually going to, each of the points I raised in this condensed review, I'm going to go into in detail to really explain what I found out about this machine. Where I would say, I would recommend this over an Ender 3. But I am going to recommend this over the Ender 3, just for its ease of use and quality and all, all the quality of life things that would make the printer better are there. And... Like I said, it's just some smart people got together and said, let's improve the Ender, and then they did it. So now that I think about it more, I shouldn't be surprised that someone just takes the Ender technology and then basically ups the game on it. Hello everyone, I'm going to talk about Alutma Lotmax SC10 3D printer. बेड देखा साहा नौसल देखा आवास उष्णता तो ये रात्रों ने पास से में आ प्रिंट का पटांगा नो इसलिए लाम यानो होम पोजीशन ने घटा इड पास से में आ एक अधिकर ने प्रिंट है नो इधर में प्रिंट के तीन विशेष मध्य ये तमा में के गोड़ाक साइलेंट प्रिंट का किसी आप इटा साधे बाद में कुत्ता है ने फैंस लो साधे � वोल लगात मारम स्मूथ इधर में के प्रिंटर आते हैं ना आप बलागर ना पुलवा At number one on our list is the Lot Max SC 10 three and a half inch 3D printer. There are multiple 3D printers on the market today, catering for beginners and small scale users. However, very few of them have managed to do it correctly as they come with an oversimplified structure. Instead of taking this lazy route of watering down the structural integrity of the printer, the Lot Max SC comes with a one-piece body structure and a small footprint, which enhances stability and allows for quick installation. PayPal for that, not YouTube. YouTube takes 30% of all donations, but if you send it by PayPal, they only take 3%. Oh, it's a Meanwell power supply. Very nice. Yeah, now it homes. And I didn't have to reduce the build volume. Hello guys and welcome to a new 3D printer review here at Architects 3DB. Today I'm going to review the new Lotmax SC10, a really good 3D printer that you can get right now for under 300 bucks. As you can read in the title, I think it's a Creality Ender 3 Pro killer. The first will be its huge print volume. Being specced at 235, I've been able to get a 250mm size for the X and Y axis on Cura and 280mm for the Z axis. To have a better idea of how silent it is, I'm going to print the same G-code using the JG Maker Magic from JG Aurora and the Lotmax SC10 so you will be able to compare. And I've made a couple more prints to check out the quality of this printer as you can see. Hey everyone, I am back again and today I want to talk a little bit more about my Lot Max SC10. So I had done a review of the Lot Max, I think seven or eight days after I initially got it. because so I was so impressed that I was able to build it in five minutes and then so basically right out of the box, it was giving me prints every bit as good as my dialed in modified Ender 3. Uh, so, you know, I was really happy with the Lot Max and since then it's been now two months. So I've been printing nonstop 24 hours a day, seven days a week on the Slotmax SC10. It has performed incredibly well. 
And I hope if anyone bought one on my recommendation, I hope you're getting the exact same experience that I got because it's been excellent. I'm, I'm hoping I didn't recommend something where I got a good one and other people don't get as good. So hopefully everyone's you know having the same user experience that I have, which has just been great. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the first ever Super Make Something Live. Uh, today we're going to be unboxing the SC10 printer from Lotmax. The SC10 is a new printer uh, that's a derivative of the CR20. Again, so this is a removable bed, not a flexible bed, but maybe it has just enough flex where we can just kind of pop it off. Yep, okay. That came off relatively easily. Wow. And that is, that is nice. So looking without any cleanup, uh, zooming in here. Let me get this guy to focus. There we go. Uh, I mean, this is, this is basically a perfect print. Uh, looking here, look underneath too. Uh, the surface finish is nice. There's no blobbing. Uh, again, really no stringing. Maybe one tiny, tiny hair uh, that goes in between here. But I mean, that's, that's basically negligible. Um, wow, this is really, really impressive. Okay, so we have a new uh, benchmark Benchy that we can use uh, for comparing all the other printers. This is really, really nice. This turned out really well. Wow. On today's show, we're gonna get our first look at the LotMax SC10 and show you exactly what it can do, so stick around. And you can see here I've done a dome. Now this is a dome from uh, Mr. Baddeley's Printed Droids. Uh, this is actually uh, one of several parts, and this is just a little container that you can put stuff in, and then of course the top of the lid. Now the reason I chose this was because it was a big print, and it really kind of covers everything. There was no support needed on this whatsoever. So this printer, this uh, SC10, really printed this beautifully. It's got very little layer lines. Yes, you can see the seam line. It's all in one spot, so you can go ahead and clean that off and go ahead and just do a quick little sanding. The detail on this, there's a little salmon skinning. I think that's more moray from the camera than anything else, but um, you can see that overall, it printed this beautifully. The lines are nice and crisp. All of the details are nice and crisp. Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. And in this video, we are going to unbox this printer, the LotMax SC10. There is no play at all. This printer is out of the box, pretty okay. Normally, I would have to adjust uh, the wheels to see that they won't wobble on the, on the rails, but the, yeah, they seem to be very, very nice. Hello everybody and welcome back. In here is a pretty much brand new LotMax SC10 3D printer. That's just the way it is, I suppose. So these two are the only, only ones that you have to connect. That's kind of nice. And to tighten the Y-axis belt, and pull out This is so wonderfully easy.
Hello everybody and welcome back. Here we have it, the Lotmax SC10. Uh, it's been printing for two days. I finished setting it up. I tested everything that there was to test about it. I gave it a lot of stuff to print. I checked that there is nothing loose with it. Um, I messed with it a bit and uh, now we're gonna look at the results. That was uh, limited to the $400 plus range down to the $300 range and possibly below that. Um, it prints very nicely. It is a complete package. It came with everything that I needed to get it running. It came with a lot of filament. It was probably the best packed printer that I've had all this year. And it's a really nice machine. It, it, it works out nicely. Uh, it handles materials well. It does have the big uh, platform. It has a pretty good build height. The firmware is um, nice, uh, really snappy. 